We're moving into the uh, eight zone here. Uh, getting out of the seven circle. You do operate. You're very good at articulating the significance of my wisdom. And but you know, you personally find it hard to actually live in the eight zone. Uh, you, you're actually stuck in between because you know the obsolescence of the seven circle. So this is an example. This is tough for you to get. That what we always call distraction in the era of literacy and the search for truth, which was, was the matching of inner reality with outer reality and correspondence, that whole quest was subsumed by the tactile making environment where it doesn't matter what is being made as long as you're providing content for the tactile medium. So distraction or non-truth or ignoring truth is is the term for the fact we need information and consumption of our senses and extended senses rather than truth. And that is a truth. But see, I, I, I don't disagree with that. What I'm saying is what's on. happening is these people, they are so distracted that they're almost hypnotized to the point of comatosis. Well, that, that they are not alive in the sense that I am. They're not reappeared. They're disappeared. Well, I know that, man. I, I've got that much. I, I mean, it, uh, that, that's my frustration with the general population. Well, it's listen, you've got to realize that the waking up enterprise, this is what Gurdjieff, Krishnamurti, and Crowley didn't understand. The waking up enterprise has been severely obsolesced. That's what McLuhan and James Joyce understood. Finnegan's Wake, it's a satire. Finnegan's Awake. Exactly. That, that's what I've tried to explain to people many times. Guy, <laughs> you don't ex you don't need to explain it to them. Well, you just I need to say... I've been living you, in Dublin for two years. I got it. I got the culture, <laughs> man. They sit over there in a damn pub all day long, you know. Oh, so-and-so, poor guy has died, you know. <laughs> and they cut that, toss a pine at his coffin, and he wakes up, I'm not dead. What's <laughs> wrong with you, idiot? You know? <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is, you got to realize that there's no way to judge who's asleep or awake nowadays when you're dealing with the four-body model. Well, if I had standards, I wouldn't be doing what I do on Eben, you know, or on any show. I'd be just staying where I professionally am trained to in the Secret Council 10. But I wander among the crowd knowing there's no difference. I, man, I agree with that, but is it not frustrating to know that, that they've got to dummy down all these people, man? I mean, if No, they don't dumb it down. The people dumb themselves down because they don't understand what, how they've been extended and then well, castrated. They're, dumb, they're either dumbing down or numbing down. Numbing down or... And they're also intensifying. The distraction world intensifies our reality. We're going in four directions. Quadrophenia. Well, yeah, and that's funny you mentioned that, because, I mean, that is a brilliant uh, rock, uh, what would you call it, rock, uh, rock retrieval? <laughs> rock retrieval? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's rock retrieval. Help I'm a rock, you know, Frank Zappa, first album. Help I'm a rock, help I'm a rock, <laughs> na, 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 help I'm a rock. Yes. I'm a cop, yeah. Yeah, I'm a cop. So the, uh... You know, there's so much in... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, does, does that mean just because we're aware of uh, this distraction that we're cops, man? Because the cops aren't aware that we're all distracted? <laughs> no, well, we're, you could be a hard cop or a soft cop. I'm a... Remember what Beefheart said. He said, I'm not a cop to that. He didn't say what he was a cop to. That's what we are. We're not a cop to that.